So in today's lesson, we're learning about permutations and combinations. Um, and one important part of this is that you understand the difference between permutations and combinations. With permutations, order matters. Order matters. I need you to write that down next to permutations. That order matters. With combinations, it's the exact opposite. Order does not matter. Order does not matter with combinations. All right, um, that's the major difference. We actually calculate these virtually the same way. It just comes down to if the order matters in you know the order in which objects or t or letters or whatever it is are arranged, then I have to calculate it as a permutation. So in example one, it just tells me right out the gate that it is a permutation. Uh, now, in these examples, it basically is just going to give me some type of a total. So let's uh, go ahead and turn in your books to page 651. Page 651. how many different ways I can rearrange the word computer. So um, how many letters are in the word computer? There are eight letters. So I'm going to make that what I call a factorial. And I use an exclamation point behind the number to show the factorial. And then I count it down from that number and I multiply each number. Eight times seven times six times five, four, three, two, and then all the way down to one. And when I multiply those numbers in my calculator, what would I get? Did you get that? 40,320, and we'll just label it ways. Okay, ways to rearrange the word computer. All right, so if it just gives me basically one value like that, that's how I would calculate it, using what I call a factorial. So um, how could I... Do this one, ways to arrange ways to arrange um, 10 DVDs on a shelf. Okay, well now, what would be my factorial? Try to write it down. Go ahead and write it down and then we'll talk about it. Ways to arrange 10 DVDs on a shelf. 10 exclamation, 10 exclamation point equals, and then you go 10 times 9 times 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And what do you get? Six hundred twenty-eight thousand. Eight hundred. Is that what y'all got? Hmm. Maybe just a little typo in there. All right. You want to know an easier way to do it? So go ahead and enter the number, and then you're going to hit shift on your calculator. Um. You hit shift, and then you're gonna hit the button um, kind of to the um, underneath that mode setup button on the top row hit shift and you see the x x uh, sorry exclamation point above that in yellow so hit the 10 and then shift and then um, the button that's x to the negative first but in yellow it's x with an exclamation point and that'll calculate your factorial yes. So now, in example two, what if you're given an example where you have a total amount, but there's only a select number of that total actually being picked? You need to use the formula NPR. NPR. 
R, where N stands for the total number of possibilities. And R stands for the number being selected or the portion of the total that's being tested. All right, NPR. And then P obviously stands for what? Possibilities. Per per permutations. P stands for permutations. Okay, and here's our example. Here's our example. Um, it says there are 52 entries in the Federal Junior Duck Stamp Contest. How many ways could the first, second, and third places be awarded? So I need to have a total. How many total people entered this contest? How many did I just say? 52. 52. And then I have my P. But how many awards can be uh, given? First second, and third place. So how many is that? Three. three. So I write it 52P3. And what this is saying is there are 52 people who entered, but only three of them can get first, second, and third. And here's why it's a permutation. Someone gets first, someone gets second, someone gets third. Order matters. It matters who gets first, second, and third. All right, so again, go to your calculators and hit enter the number 52, the number 52, and now the shift button and the, uh, the multiplication uh, button. Do you see above it in yellow where it says NPR? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you hit 52, shift, multiplication button, that enters your P, and then enter your 3. So you should have in your calculator... 52P3, hit equals. What do you get? And that's the number of possible com, uh, permutations. Um, what is it? Uh, ways to award top prizes. All right, any questions on that, the NPR example? All right, I want you to look in your books on page 651, page 651. We're going to do another example of permutations. Look at number two. It says there are eight volleyball teams in a tournament. In how many ways can the teams place first, second, third, and fourth? Go ahead and calculate that permutation. Again, it's a permutation because there's first, second, third, and fourth place. So what's the total number of teams? Eight. 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 But how many can get the top prizes? Four. Four. Did you do eight P4? Yeah. All right. And what did you get? 1,630. 1,630 ways to award the top prizes. All right. Any questions about calculating permutations? Do you see the difference? So in the first example, I just said, how many ways can I rearrange you know, a word or 10 DVDs on a shelf. But in the second example, now I have a total amount, but there's only a select number of that total actually being picked. Do you see the difference? See the difference? Okay. So now in example three, we're doing the same thing except with combinations. So here's the deal with combinations. It specifically says, or there, it's obvious that the order does not matter. So let's read this example. You need to choose two electives uh, from a list of four possible electives. How many different choices do you have if the order in which you choose does not matter? So it clearly tells us there, order does not matter. So the way I calculate combinations is pretty much the exact same formula as permutations, except now it's a C instead of a P. So how many electives did I have to choose from? Um, yeah. oh. I had four to choose from, but how many did I have to choose? Two. So we calculate the combination. So we enter the number four on our calculator and then shift, and now we hit the division symbol, 
which in yellow above it you see is NCR. Do you see that? Okay, so shift NCR, that'll enter a C, and then you enter the R value, which is 2. 4C2, hit equals, and what do you get? Six. Six choices or combinations of electives. All right, so now um, I want you to do one. Go ahead and turn to page 652, your turn now. It's a CD example. You're going to calculate the combination. So on number three, it says you want to buy five CDs at a music store, but you ha only have enough money for two. How many choices do you have? All right, so what's the num total number possible? Five. Five. C, but how many can I buy? Two. Two equals how many? Ten. Ten choices. Make sure on all of these on your homework that you label. All right, any questions on combinations? Now, in example four, I have to decide now which one it's going to be. So it says you win a door prize at the grand opening of a department store. For the prize, you get to choose five different pairs of sunglasses from 20 styles that the store carries. How many choices do you have? So let me ask you this. Is it going to be a <coughs> combination or a permutation? Combination. Did it say anything about order? No. So it's a combination. How many total choices were there? 20. But how many do I choose? And now I can calculate my combination. You do the same thing as a permutation, you just put a P in there, but your answer will be different. So you have to be able to decide which one it is. Okay, so 20C5, um, when I calculate it, what do I get? Yep, 15,504. And again, um, you know, ways, ways to choose sunglasses, that's fine. All right, now I want you to look at number four on the bottom of page 652. It's a summer reading program example. You have to decide, is it combination or permutation, and then calculate. Combination, and how many total did I have to choose from? Um, 15. All right, but how many am I picking? Four. So what's the total? ways. All right. And that's it. That's everything you need to know for 13.4.